Are you guys tired of your background audio just not sounding that good or your music just overpowering your voice? Well, if so, in this video, we're going to be covering how to make your background audio sound super professional. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And in this video, we're going to be talking all about background audio. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so we're gonna be starting in Adobe Premiere. And the reason why I do all my audio mixing in Adobe Premiere is because I can kind of get a feel for how the background music feels with the other audio on the fly. So I haven't done any EQ or dynamics processing to my main audio for the commentary and the commentary audio track is gonna be this little split piece here. And this is from an older scoped in video. And then we've got some music here in the background from a two hour non copyright sounds playlist. So I'm going to go ahead and play this for just a few seconds for you. And you can see why just throwing stuff in obviously doesn't make sense. And no duh, you guys are going to get this, but let's just go ahead and play this for a second. Yeah. Can't understand a single thing I'm saying. Well, yeah, you guys can go in here and you can go to audio gain and you can adjust the gain by a certain percentage or do max peaks. I used to do max peaks or all peaks or normalize. This does not fix your problem unfortunately, but there is a way to easily fix this once you know what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys those settings in just a second, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this to, um, we're going to adjust the gain by negative 10. So we're going to make our audio quite a bit quieter, but we're going to go ahead and play it again and just kind of get a sample to see how it sounds now. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Scope My name is Chad. And the music is still significantly quieter, but you still have no idea what I'm saying. And that is the problem. So I'm going to hit control Z once, and we're going to go ahead and undo that clip. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hop over to effects. So the effects that we're going to be using are audio effects, and they're going to be over here under the audio effects tab. And we're going to pull these down. Now, the two things we're going to be using are dynamics processing and EQ processing. Um, we're going to go ahead and find those under the obsolete audio effects. So, like I said, the two that you're going to be using are these dynamic obsolete. So we're going to drag that on our uh, game or not our gameplay. I'm sorry, our music. And we're going to go ahead and say, no, we don't want to use the newer version. And same thing with the EQ obsolete. We're going to drag those in and we're going to say, no, we do not want to use the newer version of that as well. I like the interface of the older ones and they work well for me. So I'm sticking to them. Uh, so you could hop in here and you can see there's tons of stuff you can do, but you might not have any idea how to set this stuff. And that is okay because I've got some tips for you for making this work pretty well. And I've got some presets and I'm going to share screenshots of those settings with you guys. So you guys can make your audio sound better. So you can see under the dynamics, this is for compression limiting. Um, so compression is basically going to make all the audio waves kind of crunch in together and sound very similar. So this is pretty cool. Um, maybe something that you might want to use for a commentary and you can definitely mess with this for your own audio commentary. I'll make probably a video on that, just showing you guys how to get a similar audio sound and profile from recording to recording, but that's going to be a future video. So we're not going to mess with any of this right now. Um, actually go ahead and leave yours up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these two for me by using control Z and I'm going to bring in my presets. So keep, the dynamics and the EQ settings in there because I'm going to go ahead and show you my settings for those. So we're going to go ahead and play this audio one more time and then we're going to do it before and after. So here we go. Before, before yeah, I don't know about that. Um, and we're going to drag these two in and now after. Let's jump into it. Starting first, we need to determine where we're going. There's music in the background if you guys are listening really closely and Here's the thing about this. You guys can tune this to the level that you like, and we're going to go over these settings and how you can kind of adjust and get a little bit of more of a music boost, or if you want it more background. So starting with the dynamics, what this does is this gives it some sort of compression. So what I use is an expander and all this other crap. So make sure to set stuff how you see it here. And the main thing is the limiter. So what this is doing is this is limiting how loud the music can get. So you can set a threshold for this and we'll go ahead and uh, mute my audio and what spacebar and we'll play. And you can see the more I raise the threshold, the more it allows through. So we're going to go ahead and stop that. And I believe I had that set to like a negative 30. So you can go ahead and set it there. 
And what it's going to do is it's really just going to kind of chop your audio at negative 30 and not let it go much past that. So if you wanted your music a little bit louder, you can go ahead and bump it on up there and that'll fix that problem for you. So if you wanted yours set to say maybe a negative 20, we'll set to negative 20, enter and go ahead and play back audio. And that's still reasonable background music. So we'll go ahead and unmute this track. Like to drop close to the ship just and you can see can get loot faster that the music is a little bit louder. So maybe you would want to go with something like a negative 25. I prefer my background music to be there, but definitely not be something anybody pays attention to. It's just kind of there in case I get quiet. There's nothing that's just going to kind of be like, oh, that's over the top. I don't I don't like background music like that. People like to drop close to the ship. So you can see negative 25 works pretty much uh, just as well. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to set it back to negative 30 because that's what I like. Just because they can get and I can hear the music, but it's not overbearing. And that's what we like. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to go ahead and plug my Twitch stream. It is twitch.tv slash it's mad Chad. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 9 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can find me playing games like Halo, Apex Legends, and just other cool stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, then please be sure to check that out. And yeah, thanks for listening to that. Back to the video. All right, so we're going to be moving over to EQ. So EQ's uh, main use is to basically limit what audio waveforms we let come through. And this right here is set to basically tell any of the music that's coming through to crunch the sound in these kind of this area. And this is the area where your vocal cords are normally going to come through at. So your commentary is going to be really dominant in this section. And lowering the waveforms for the music in this area is going to make your own commentary pop over the top of the background audio. Now, Depending on the song, this might not have much effect, and that's okay, but this is just here for that effect. Just like the dynamics, the dynamics is going to be slightly different. We're going to be limiting your audio, making sure you don't go over a certain level. The EQ is basically going to be saying, hey, if anything's in this vocal range level, we're going to kind of turn that down just individually quite a bit. That way it doesn't sound like two people talking over each other if you have some music in the background, for instance, that has lyrics or people talking or singing, you know, not just instrumental stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and play this back and just kind of see what it sounds like now. Looking for a place to drop, the first thing you want to take in mind is what direction. It All right, so now that we've messed with those settings, let's go ahead and play back the audio without these effects. So I'm just going to click on this little FX here, and this is going to cut off all the effects. And we're going to go ahead and play it back. Yeah, not that good. Yeah, we could also lower the gain and kind of get a feel for what it should sound like. But the whole purpose of this video is to make it super easy for you guys. So whenever you have your audio, you don't have to worry about how loud the music is. You just throw these things on them. So we'll go ahead and enable those now. And this is what it sounds like after we add our dynamics and EQ processing. And where you're looking for a place to drop, the first thing you want to Much better. Hey guys, Future Chad here. I was editing this video and noticed I forgot the most important part, and that is saving these you know, settings that you've made as presets. That way you don't have to do this and look up a, you know, chart on how to set these settings every single time. You set it once and then you can drag it to everything and it's 10 times easier. So how do you get them over here to the presets? That is the question and it is very, very simple. So what you would do is you would right click over here after you made your changes. So for example, this says EQ obsolete music EQ. Um, you would right click and you would click say preset. So for example, I'm going to do one um, that's not an audio preset already, um, just so you guys would already have that. So let's see, it's going to be under obsolete. So I'm just going to drag in a regular one. So we'll just disregard mine that's already saved as a preset. So we will just right click on it and then you'll click save as preset and then it'll ask you to name it. So this is what I would call tutorial preset. So what you guys would do is you would take the preset that you've already made from the settings that I gave you and you would right click it, save it as preset. And then whenever you're editing your videos from then on out, you can literally just go in here and look for it. And there should be one here, tutorial preset, and you'll just start your next video. You'll be editing and then you'll come in here and just drag that in and you don't have to mess with those audio settings ever again. You don't have to remember it. It's just something that's super easy. Just drag and drop and you can do that for the EQ as well. 
All right, guys, so that's going to be all for this video. If this helped you, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Let other people know which settings that you guys are using that are super helpful for you in your video editing and other videos that you would like to see related to Adobe Premiere, maybe other programs like OBS and just other things related to content creation. That is going to be all for this video. This has been Chad from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.